Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing well today. And as always, please do like and subscribe if you found this video useful. This is actually a video that I wanted to share that another YouTuber made recently. And the subject is a little controversial. It's all about pensions and it really got me thinking, is silver actually a better option than investing into a pension each month? Although not everyone may agree with these points that he mentions, I think that there is a lot of truth in it if you just look at the evidence. So to summarize his video, he was saying that there are more and more older people in the population. So more and more baby boomers, so those who were born pre or uh, post-1945, are retiring, more and more are leaving their jobs every year or have done so recently. And there are also, on top of that problem, less and less young people in employment and doing the sorts of stable jobs that um, used to be considered uh, a lifetime jobs in the past. You can already tell that something has changed in that, for example, a lot of people my age maybe had parents who had the same job for life. Maybe they moved up and got promotions, changed roles within the organization, but they may have or most likely stayed in that same organization for the majority of their working life. Maybe um, they might have taken sabbaticals or maternity leave, that sort of thing. But in general, people didn't move around so much. The same with their locations. People didn't generally travel that much. We're seeing more of that now with travel restrictions in various parts of the world. But still in, say, the 50s and 60s, traveling abroad, or even 70s, maybe 80s, going abroad was really unheard of and only for the super rich. So there's both of these factors together. Now you might say, well, what's the problem? Well, the problem is, <laughs> and there's actually a third factor, is that people are living longer now with the better health systems and medicines, because for diseases, vaccinations that we have. So there's all of these problems together. And the thing is, when people are drawing out of their pension uh, for longer, more people, then less people paying in, it surely is going to create a problem for people my age and younger or anyone who's paying into a pension at the moment because there's just more people taking money out than putting money in. So the other factor as well that he talked about was when it's someone else's money, they're never going to be as invested in it as you are. They're always going to go that little bit further, maybe take risks that you wouldn't take if it was your own money. They're just not going to be as interested in it, in what they're investing your pension in, as someone would be if it were their own money. And that's the same with everything, right? Um, if you know it's not your money, then generally people aren't as fussy. Take business expenses as a good example. If someone's going on a work trip and they're allowed to put as much as they want on expenses, then obviously you're not going to be as bothered as if it's your personal holiday or vacation when you're paying for everything yourself. So it does really make sense and it did really get me worried. I know that people might have different opinions. Um, I'm not saying that he's right. It's something else that's out there. The other thing is when it's your own business, like for example, the business that you can start by trading gold and silver, showing other people how to do the same thing, selling items, looking for low mintage items, sale prices, buying at the right price, then selling at the right price. This is your business that you're able to have. So 
of course, you're going to be a lot more serious than someone who's maybe investing these funds on your behalf. And also a lot more motivated as well. If you want to check out my videos on how the price of silver has risen over time or how it's able to protect you from inflation, then you're able to go to my channel and see the videos that I made on that. But I will also put the link to his video in the description below and the links on my website if you want to have a look, get started in silver, send me a question. As always, I'm very happy to talk to people wherever they're from, find out what got them uh, to my channel, what made them interested in gold and silver, answer any questions that someone might have, and get to know different people's opinions. I'm the sort of person who's open to a debate for about any topic, so even if your opinion is different to mine, then I'd also be happy to hear from you. But for now, uh, look after yourself over these what might be difficult months in Europe, and I'll be back soon with another video. See you later.